Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlis here, and this is how to use Meowskareta in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you enjoy the video or if it helps out in any way, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, and comment your thoughts down below. So, this Pokemon is the definition of power creep. 123 base speed. Why? Well, Greninja has 122. Why does Greninja have 122? Because 120 wasn't spicy enough on Alakazam and Dugtrio, so they're not allowed to be strong, and also Mega Pidgeot took 121 for some reason. And maybe Therian Tornadus was a consideration. I don't know. Stats in this game, you can see a little bit of fluff coming in. Also, has the Protean ability. Why? Don't ask questions. Stop asking questions. However, Protean did get a significant nerf in Generation 9. So Protean only activates once, and there's like a lot of other weird things that go down. So right here, changes Pokemon type to the move it's about to use. This only works one time when the Pokemon enters battle. So one time per switch, you get to change, but then there's no change back. There's no permanent stab. But as we saw right here, there were some mechanic changes. So this goes into just terrestrializing overall, just good information. Soak fails against terrestrialized Pokemon. Electric types can be paralyzed if they change off the typing. So if you're a dark type Pokemon and then you Terra into Steel, you can now be Prankstered. So you have the stat benefit removed when changing type. And no type change is possible. Protean won't do anything while terrestrialized. So Protean is mostly just there to where like, oh man, my stab isn't working. I need to switch into another move and do some damage, and then maybe that makes the difference. In most cases, I actually don't think it's going to be needed on Meowskareta, and we're going to get into that as we go deeper into the moveset. So we have a 123 speed Pokemon with 110 attack. That's just straight sweeping stats. Jolly Nature, max speed possible, outspeed everything. Fully invest into the attack, hit it pretty hard, and then we can see how the rest of it plays out. So, Flower Trick, signature move, always crits. Does not check accuracy either. So, if because, like, there's no Dynamaxing and no Z moves to shut down evasion boosting, this handles it. And because this move always crits, it just has a base power of 105 and ignores defenses. Now, it can't crit on top of that, but then you have, like, Stab, Terrestrializing, Items, other boosts. It hits hard. So we have a pretty powerful move on the Meowskareta. Also, a very interesting moveset. It gets Stab Knockoff. It gets Stab Sucker Punch. That's always going to be good. Play Rough to round out the coverage. And Terra Blast Ground is my initial thought for this Pokemon. Now, if we go to the Type Coverage Checker, we can see Grass and Dark. And yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon that resist us. Not all of these are in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and it hasn't been updated in Generation 9 at the time of making this video. But it just kind of shows, okay, very imperfect. Fairy, because play rough is just high base power, good tech to have. And we're still resisted by things, but doesn't matter. Not in the game, not in the game, forbidden. And Clefki actually can't prankster you because you're dark, unless you Protean off of it. So that's actually where Protean could become a detriment, because you can't, like, switch off and then get back, and then, like, get back into your main stab or something. Um, and this is not exactly why you want to run ground. But if you look at the neutral hits, or if you think about it, what do we do to a Toxpex? We can hit it neutral on the Flower Trick, but a full defensive Toxpex just does not care. Now, Toxpex can't gain anything with, like, Stockpile, but yeah, 110 attack into a full defensive Pokemon is going to be pretty rough. Also, what are we going to do to a Steel-type Pokemon? We knock off, get the bonus damage, but now we just have a neutral 65 base power move. That really isn't going to be doing too much. So, Play Rough is also, like, I think there was some interesting deliberate design in the power creep of the new starter Pokemon, or like the new Pokemon in general. Because you look at Quaquavel, it can ruin an opposing team. It has a decent chance to 6-0, but its moveset and type coverage is what's keeping it from, like, just running over everything once it hits plus 2, plus 2. Uh, Meowskareta, also kind of in that boat. Grass Dark, very frail and vulnerable typing, but also very frail and vulnerable stats. So, like, a solid neutral hit KOs you, and any super effective hit just takes you out, which is why we have the Focus Sash. But, um, you look at, like, the offensive coverage, not incredible, and then the rest of the coverage, I mean, you can, like, low kick something, maybe? Brick Break Super doesn't even beat out, like, neutral Flower Trick? So, I, it does matter for, like, Steel-type Pokemon, but then what do you do against a Corviknight? You actually can't do anything, and even then, Terra Blast kind of fails you, so there's like a lot of different options here, but an idea behind the Terra Blast is a lot of Pokemon probably going to T 
Terra into Electric to just have the mono weakness while also having some kind of extra threat behind it. Terra Normal also seems like an idea, but I'm also wondering maybe you go for the Electric? And that way you actually have like a strong, super effective hit against Toxpex. Uh, Slowbro is already water, so that's fine. But then a Pokemon like Corviknight, you can just hit them with a super effective Electric Terra Blast. They're not going to like that, especially after getting knocked off. And, you know, this coverage, again, kind of matters. Because, like, if you give up the play rough, well, now a Dragon can kind of run away against you. So it's about building for also super effectives, because, like, neutral hits that fall off, not really good on the Meowskareta. So the coverage checker doesn't exactly help but you want to try to build for as many super effective hits as possible. And then 110 attack, that's going to be fine. Overgrow versus Protean. Like I said, you don't want to Protean off of something. Like if I if I use play rough first, now I'm just stuck on this play rough. My flower trick isn't getting stabbed. My knockoff isn't nuking. Um, you Terrastalize, now you're a fairy base electric Terra Pokemon. I think Protean actually messes up Meowskareta in most situations, but not all. More movesets coming up in a bit. And also, Overgrow and Focus Sash, this is what you want. You want to get that bonus 50% damage into your high base power move, and now you're doing some pretty crazy stuff. Now, you're really going to need tank Pokemon to support the Meowskareta on your team. I'm not talking about, like, tank Pokemon that resist the super effectives against the tons of weaknesses Grass Dark has, but mostly just so you can do something about Scarf Pokemon, or, like, Super Duper 130 plus base speed Pokemon on the opponent's team. You remove those, now Meowskareta's feeling fine. And anything you don't one-shot, you two-shot and then focus Ash into Overgrow. Now you're turning into more one-shots. Uh, Meowskareta also has like a really interesting niche, I feel, that you can lead it and shut down a lot of opponent's strats with just this and damage. And then go one or two up on the opponent very early on the game. Meowskareta also wants to come in late, where it can just do this. The opponent's last-ditch effort gets absorbed by a focus Ash, or they all have Pokemon around 60%, and then you're just one-shotting them through coverage on a 123 speed Pokemon they can't answer anymore. So the way you play Meowskareta is pretty much like Greninja. You have this extra coverage, you can tech it in as just good, fast, offensive bailing out for your team, and now it also has more damage, because again, Power Creep, Greninja, 103 special attack, Meowskareta, 110, with a stronger core move on the Flower Trick. You can also free this up with another move, again, that fighting coverage to kind of help against Steel-type Pokemon, but... Eh, Toxpex still kind of annoying. Foul play, just in case the opponent is boosting, and it's like, oh, I have nothing to do with this, like, triple Dragon Dance Pokemon. Then you just foul play it with the Focus Sash. So that's, like, the setup counterplay move right here. And you also have Hone Claws. I don't know. Maybe. Like, you can just use it. Taunt, also a good way to shut down Pokemon from setting up. Sucker Punch. Yeah, if you just, like, if you somehow find a way to Hone Claws and then just run away with the battle, that would be cool. And that brings us to damage calculations. So even though I think Garchomp isn't that good of a competitive Pokemon and like Scarf Chomp has been dropping off as like more and more crazy stuff comes into the game, I like using it as an analog because it's, it's just stats. This is just pseudo legendary stats in a Pokemon you're going to run into every once in a while. Now Scarf Chomp just outspeeds and wrecks the Miascarada. Um, if there's like some kind of damage numbers on certain Pokemon that are just barely KOing you, it might actually be worth teching like 40? into this and then going 112 and that's probably not messing up the damage numbers too much and it's giving you higher chances to survive something like the outrage we can see here the numbers on flower trick are interesting because like overgrow comes into play so that's plus one we also have the boosted damage from terastalizing so that's going to kick up the numbers even more so that goes to 91 off of the 30 percent and then if we do have let's say one hit point ability overgrow where does that put us on just like some of the fat pokemon in the game uh still doesn't find chaos i mean that's just how 110 attack plays out but the item hasn't come into play so choice band still viable on this pokemon i don't like life orb because then recoil is just going to get you ko'd uh cool thing about flower trick does not make contact it's a very sneaky move always crits bypasses evasion doesn't make contact it's just free we can also look at some other matchups. We have Jolteon. Jolteon, just a naturally faster Pokemon with the 110 special attack. So, hey, it's a sweeper, but it has less tricks and less coverage. But now it just has access to the Terra Blast, and a super effective Terra Blast is just going to wreck you if it has Focus Sash, if it has Life Orb, if it has Choice Specs. You are going to have a bad time. Thunderbolt damage. 
it it's still going to hurt it's still going to matter it's still going to finish you off and then we can kind of see the flower trick in return so flower trick plus overgrow or a plus one is going to be a ko also we do have the bonus damage from terrestrializing so grass terra if it's just like a choice spec jolteon that's stuck on a thunderbolt a shadow ball or maybe like an electric terra you can survive and then ko it on the flower trick and just kind of stay ahead and now if that was your opponent's fastest pokemon you're doing fine also jolteon can be kind of like a placeholder scarf pokemon scarf pokemon giving up damage to outspeed you if you survive and just have a fat flower trick in return that's going to be pretty all right but yeah one 110 no like adamant nature no extra buffs you have to really work to pull it off or you need like super effective hits and we also have some other ideas behind the Masquerade talking about the boosting choice ban trick this this would ruin my life because i like playing tank pokemon and i think that using trick choice items is one of the most dishonest things you can do to my tox packs but it works in shutting down just like setting up and stall and stuff so like Masquerade getting that it's going to steal an item Hopefully it's not a black sludge, but if it's another item, can make use of that. And then also just has power. Like you just flower trick grass anyways, try to destroy something. Maybe you don't get one shot, overgrow happens. And now you're just dealing with crazy amounts of damage on this crazy speed Pokemon. Knock off is a thing, play rough is a thing. Um, it's mostly just like you have this trick option, but you also don't necessarily need it because you also get access to the taunt. So you can run different kinds of Meowskareta in that way. And then... I have shenanigan Protean Meowskareta. How to make Protean work? Well, you just have to treat it as that Pokemon, and it's going to be for anything in the moveset. So this is what you ask yourself. Is there a type missing this stat package? Does my team need a specific type of Pokemon that is fast and does a good amount of physical damage that is also in Meowskareta's move pool? So that way I can Protean into it, and then I just full commit, and now I can play it through that way. So I was just kind of using play rough as an example. Lead Meowskareta, you throw out the play rough, you become fairy, but now you just go all in on fairy. You are a fairy type Pokemon going fairy terra type for that fairy bonus damage into play rough. But you can also do it for like something weird, like what if you go thunder punch, and then you have the terra blast for more damage if you need it. Now, five more base power doesn't matter but i mean like now you just kind of created a 110 123 physical electric type pokemon from thin air in your team actually magical actually on brand for this pokemon with like the electric terra typing and you can do that for anything here acrobatics mirror herb what if and the reason why i have mirror herb here is so it doesn't hard lock you into a move but also just kind of like catches your opponent if your opponent tries to dragon dance or grab any kind of stats you just win because now you get to turn into whatever typing you want, backed up into your Terra typing, and then off the Protean, and then whatever stats. And now you're just winning. I think Fairy is the strongest because of the moveset. Like I said, Thunder Punch doesn't pull you into a lot of power or that interesting of a niche. Now you can go like physical ghost type Pokemon that's pulling these kinds of shenanigans. Uh, fighting doesn't really seem that crazy. Maybe dropping your grass weakness kind of matters but kind of doesn't because like i said you're frail but i think this is going to be the most interesting angle to explore meowskareta on like you just turn it into a completely different pokemon and then your coverage is going to reflect this you know you still want flower trick even non-stab critting is nice knock off it knocks things off foul play doesn't care about your typing well actually the bonus damage with wind dark for the stab is pretty nice bike you can just clap an opponent's pokemon pretty hard um, other ideas, like, this Pokemon just is a bag of tricks because of its stats and its moveset. Like, what if you go Home Claws, you go Endure, you have, uh, that berry, and then you do something like this. Now, I'm not saying, like, oh, this is the be best Meowskareta moveset, use this, guys, but I'm saying it's, like, there's a lot of weird options. Like, Endure Lychee Berry, it's kind of like a cheaty out on a lot of Pokemon. You can also go Sub Lychee Berry, like, you're just fast. So if the opponent is trying to set up against you, or like do their own kind of thing, like you just outspeed them, you sub, now you don't get toxic, you don't get thunder waved, you don't get will o wisp or anything, and they are just hurt. They are feeling bad. And then that means like you just run your uh, normal stuff with the flower trick. And like, this is also a moveset in its own. But going back to the idea behind the other one, you're just going for your opportunity. You're going for your end. You can home claws whenever. If you somehow survive or take some damage or you haven't procced Lychee Berry, you endure into the Lychee Berry and then you go Dark Terrastal into outspeeding one-shotting things on knockoff. Or if anything outspeeds you, you one-shot them on Sucker Punch. 
because now you're dark boosted plus two stab on these crazy kinds of moves. So there's a lot of ways to like just access shenanigans and catching your opponent off guard if they've got like their trick like, oh man, I'm going to take my Dragonite and I'm going to turn it into an electric type Pokemon or something weird. You just say, okay, I endure and sucker punch. Oh, that's it? Okay, cool. So I mean like if, if the opponent's trying to go for like something really Terra based sweepy, this could probably shut it down. And it just kind of shows like there's there's things to do with Miascarata. Or you can also just Ungabunga, Choice Band, Flower Trick, everything, and hope that your speed carries you. Or, again, save it for the later part of the game where this just does 60% to everything. So, if you guys enjoy the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.